Hey, today I'm talking about the internationally produced Three Colors Trilogy. If you're unfamiliar, these are a set of three psychological dramas from France slash Poland slash Switzerland, all directed by the same guy. I'm not going to attempt to say his name. And they're all pretty dang great. A best up is blue. This is a 1993 film and the basic premise is about this woman who her and her husband are composers and they have a child together but then one day tragedy strikes and she's now just dealing with the newfound freedom that she has in being husbandless and childless and maybe also just kind of decides to retire because she's just like life this is bullshit which is totally fair definitely get that and it's really just her trying to exist even though she really doesn't want to and it's a pretty damn great film i did really enjoy this film the lead who i've definitely seen a number of times i liked her performance a lot its use of the color blue was i think the most overt in this one but i think also worked the most best for me if that makes sense yeah, i don't know it was just a really interesting film and i like how it explored everything and i like where it went and yeah, no, it was just a well-made film. I don't have a lot to say on it. It just really worked for me. So yeah, I would totally recommend this. This is a really good, really solid film. I did spoil a little bit because it's a little bit into the film before the death happens, but I think even knowing that, that's totally fine. You can still get a lot out of this, even knowing that her husband and child died. So yes, definitely recommend. The next up is... White. This is a 1994 film about a Polish man living in Switzerland who is just like the biggest schlub of a dude. He somehow scored a babe of a wife, but he hasn't been able to perform sexually since they got married. So maybe their marriage is falling apart. So it's really about him just like slowly trying to gain back his confidence after hitting just like an all time rock bottom. I'm like he's she's really the lowest of the low and I really really enjoyed this film I definitely connected to this one the most out of all three which I now realize makes it kind of sound like I connected to the schlubby guy but I think it's really his journey of getting that confidence and just like it was surprising but like they really made it work like they really built upon everything before it and it all felt justified and it all made sense and then like his plans were so interesting like what his goals were at different times and just like how he kind of took advantage of people not thinking the highest of him and it paid off for him so incredibly well and yeah no it's a really really interesting film like I think of these three this is the one I'm gonna rewatch the most like I definitely like the first one a lot but this one was just I don't know it was such an interesting trip that just was something else if you're gonna watch just one of these I would say just do this one even though all three are great this one to me really stood out more which is interesting too because because like I feel like with the other two the main characters are women and I connected with them more quickly and this one it took a while for me to kind of like okay accept this guy as my protagonist but his journey was just something else that hit like a stronger chord within me than what happened with the other two women so yeah that's why I put it higher than the other two is just because like it really hit it home for me so yeah thoroughly enjoyed definitely recommend and lastly is Red. This is a 1994 film and the basic premise is this model is existing in life. She has a boyfriend who's jealous, who's long distance, and they're having problems. Her family is long distance, but she enjoys work. She gets a lot out of work. She's having success in work. But then one day comes across this dog who leads her to this old man. They kind of get drawn to each other, not in a sexual way, or at least I don't think in a sexual way. And they kind of spend the rest of the film sort of, in a sense, discussing philosophical ideas. I'm definitely oversimplifying things. But yeah, it was interesting. Of these three, this is the one I connected to the least, and I think it's the one I least understood. I definitely think it's something that I want to spend more time trying to think about and figure out what exactly it was going for. It's definitely still a good, solid film, without a doubt. But for me, its messaging and morals didn't immediately jump out at me. I do think it was really interesting 
scene, in particular what the old guy was about and the, the old guy's connection to a different character, I don't really get what that was about. If you better understand Red, please leave a comment kind of explaining your thoughts on it because I definitely want to read more people's thoughts on it to kind of wrap my mind around it more. Maybe then I'll even push it up a little bit in retrospect. Just because the other two were so great, I don't know if I necessarily feel like I missed something, but maybe that. Maybe there's something like that to this. There's a lot of stuff with like phone lines. The main part of the story has to do with phone calls, but like the opening shot is literally following some phone lines. And I know there's more to it than just like surface level, oh there's a lot of phone stuff. I don't know if it's necessarily trying to be like a commentary on or a reliance on phones. I don't know. It's interesting. Thinking about it now almost makes me want to go back and rewatch it just to be like, what did I miss? What did I not see? But yeah, no, it was definitely a good film. I'd definitely recommend it. If you do the first two, definitely do the third one as well. Even though I personally didn't think it was as strong as the other two, I think it still makes sense to round out the trilogy. So yes, still definitely a good film. I would recommend. Alrighty, now for today's rankings. First up, we got Three Colors Blue sitting at number 11 in the Really Like section. And then after that, chronologically, is Three Colors White sitting at number 8 also in the really like section. And then bringing up the rear both chronologically and ranking wise is three colors red sitting number 22 in the co-white like section. So it's basically a four out of five for me. And this is at a total of 33 old movies so far this year.